Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create a beautiful signpost graphic in PowerPoint. The beautiful signpost graphic you will learn to create today looks like this. Beautiful, isn't it? There are a whole bunch of ways in which you can use this useful diagram. You can talk about four different options. You can talk about four different directions. There are so many things that you can represent using this useful visual. And let me show you how to create this beautiful diagram from scratch. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to create this four headed arrow. I'm going to pick up that particular shape from a smart art graphic. So let us go to insert smart art and let us pick up the matrix graphic here. And under this, I'm going to choose this option called grid matrix and I'm going to say OK. And let me convert this into auto shapes. So let me go to the design tab of PowerPoint ribbon, go to convert option and say convert to shapes. Now this is nothing but a group of auto shapes. So I can select all these uh, rounded rectangles and I can just delete them because we don't really require them. All we need is this shape here. I'm going to select this. I can easily work with the shape the way I want. For example, I can widen this like so. I can increase the stem like this and that looks beautiful. And this is all I want. Let me go to shape fill and give it a color like this. Now I'm going to add a square in the center. So let me go to the auto shapes gallery, pick up this rectangle tool, hold the shift button down as I draw a perfect square here, which is right in the middle. Now to differentiate this, I'm going to give it an orange color like this one and I'm going to remove outline. Excellent. Now let me select this and remove outline for good order sake. I'm going to select all these and I'm going to press control G to group them. Next, I'm going to right click on this, go to format shape, go to effects option and let me go to 3D rotation option. The preset I'm going to use is this one called as parallel off axis one top. And this is how the graphic has turned out to be. The next thing is let's go to 3D format and let us add some depth, maybe around 20 points. And then for the center square, we are going to add some more height. So let us go to the effects option and here let us add a depth of say around 200 points. Now we have this stock on which we have four directions and the graphic is ready. If at any point of time you feel that there is a need to have a change in terms of the material and lighting, you can play with the options. For example, if you want a shinier version, you can use something like this. If you want a lighter version, you can use something like this. If you want to have a different kind of a neutral lighting, you can use something like this. Or if you want to have light coming from this direction and illuminating this, you can use something like this. Everything is completely in your hands. Now I'm going to select this and I'm going to give it shadow. And this is when the whole thing takes a new life of its own. Let us go to the effects option, go to shadow and the shadow I'm going to use is this one called as offset center in the outer option. And immediately you can see that there is a beautiful shadow of the signpost. This shiny portion is not really so much to my liking. So let me go to the 3d format and let us change the lighting to something normal like this. And now the graphic looks really beautiful. You can always change the color of these four headed arrow, like something like this, which is a much more subtle kind of a color. And now you can add your text to represent these four directions. I'm not going to show you how exactly to write your text. I'm just going to pick up the options available here and I'm just going to copy by pressing control C and I'm going to paste it here by pressing control V and do some small minor adjustments in terms of their positioning. And now this beautiful graphic is ready for me to present. This is one way of creating signpost graphic in PowerPoint. I'm going to show you some creative variations taken from our comprehensive all in one PowerPoint bundle. The first variation is this one where we talk about three different choices, the first choice, the second choice and the third choice. And you can see that this person is a bit confused about the direction to take. The next alternative is this where we talk about strategic direction. On the first click, I bring in the first alternative, the second alternative and the third alternative. 
Of course, you can replicate these elements and can have more of these elements on this pole. Another variation is this one, where we use the signpost as a list of different agenda points. Another variation is this one, where we have a different version of the same signpost. On a click, we bring in the different points and different directions that we can undertake. If you want an animated version of this graphic, and you want to use it to talk about for and against or pros and cons, you can use this particular template. We talk about the for point first, and then we talk about the corresponding against point, and then the for, and then against, for and the corresponding against. It's a very useful graphic to create. You can of course have multiple copies of this slide made so that you can present even more number of arguments quite easily. All these are readily available for you in comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. It is arguably the easiest way to create creative presentations in a matter of minutes. If you're someone who is serious about getting real results from your business presentations, then this is a product that you must invest in. I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and know more about this product. And finally, if you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, please join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. You'll be the first one to hear about any new products we introduce, any free giveaways, free email courses, and more importantly, you will receive product offers and discounts that are available exclusively to our email subscribers. So please click on the link here, join our newsletter, and take your PowerPoint game to the next level. I'll see you in the next video.